It's finally here. It's finally here. It is finally here. Listen, Crowder, 2022, this place is going to be lit. I'm talking about priests all the way from Benin down to Togo Town to the Volta, all the way down to Azim. They're all coming around. Why? Because of you. This year is going to be something else. I don't care what you're dealing with. I don't care what you're going to. Come to this Crowder from the 25th of September to the 1st of October. Miracles all over the place. Testimonies all over the place. Just a hundred slot though just a hundred slot for a hundred people to testify the best festival there is you would literally get yourself revived i'm talking about powerful powerful because talk about cause divinus i'm talking about healing i'm talking about cleansing i'm talking about feeding your craft feeding your true self where else would you want to be by the yamikasi crew this is the place to be accommodations everything sorted Carter is here to stay we're blowing things we're changing things we're changing your life your life can never be the same You're welcome to JM TVGH. Today we are here once again to discuss one of the biggest issues who are worrying the whole Africa continent. And we are here with Togbi Totosau, Togbi Totosau. And our question or our topic today is, did our ancestors have ancient knowledge foundation? Yes, that's the question we wanted to ask. Our, does our ancestors have knowledge foundation if it's yes why today we are here uh, struggling to get things right so wherever you are watching me try to watch uh, subscribe to jmtvgh like the video share and comment as well so uh, as i will not waste much time let me go to togbi to Tosau and ask him does our ancestors have knowledge foundation if it's yes he should give us explanation about that so that you and i we can learn the reason why we have that knowledge foundation but today we are suffer to get things right uh, so let me go to toby Tutosau and ask him those questions toby i'll go you're welcome thank you thank you uh, how's everything ah i for do yeah everything is fine we thank god uh, so toby today we are here to ask you this question and this question is not only us who wanted to find out uh, the truth or how it is but uh, our followers or our subscribers and the whole continent of africa we are trying to find it or to to get it right that does our ancestors have knowledge foundation thank you um yes we have okay our ancestors did have knowledge foundation mm -hmm. In actual fact, is there any uh, human environment without a knowledge foundation? Mm -hmm. I believe no foreigners came to teach us how to eat, mm -hmm. how to take our bath, or probably how to relate with our family members and all of that. This is all a knowledge foundation. Okay, so, so if that's the case that we have that no, uh, knowledge foundation, where is it now? That knowledge foundation. Well, um, as I was saying, the knowledge foundation of our Asian fathers, yes, they did have, and we still have it around. Okay. And uh, what I can say about where the knowledge is exactly mm -hmm. is, um, well, today we can locate this knowledge foundation among the the traditional leaders okay. of our individual communities. Mm -hmm. So yes, our ancient fathers did have a knowledge, esoteric knowledge foundation upon which they establish, you know, their future. Okay. And you know, this knowledge foundation in the hands of the traditional leaders, uh, my suggestion or what I want everybody to do in terms of this knowledge mm -hmm. is for us to, you know, get close to them, okay. so that we can be able to, you know, tap this knowledge system. Mm -hmm. Because uh, today it looks like, as you said, mm -hmm. it looks like there is no knowledge foundation of Africa. But we did have a knowledge foundation. 
So if people, you know, keep saying that uh, our ancient fathers were so primitive, barbaric, and all of that, it do amaze me because we do have a very comprehensive uh, knowledge foundation. Mm -hmm. In fact, if you look into many of the historical book, books of Socrates, mm -hmm. Taos, Pythagoras, Plutus, and all of that, okay. you can see that uh, most of their things, they refer it to the ancient Egyptian time. Okay. And that should you know, tell you that uh, civilization actually started right here from Africa. Mm. So yes, we do have our knowledge foundation okay. and it is in the hands of the spiritual leaders. Okay, thank you, Toby. And before we move forward, you, you are saying if you wanted to know uh, the, the knowledge foundation, where is it now? We should get close to the traditional leaders and all that. When you come to uh, African continent, especially this our country, Ghana, uh, many people believe that getting close to those people is, is like you said, is barbaric, is doing evil thing, and you not go to heaven and all that. How can one believe that when I get close to the, 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 the traditional leaders, I can get the, the original knowledge that our ancestors left for us? Thank you. The issue today is that uh, we consider ourselves as people with primitive identity. Okay. That is the issue with Africa. Mm. Africa is considering herself as people who are yet to understand humanity, mm. people who are yet to understand human environment. But that is not it. Uh, you see, the Knowledge Foundation of Africa has been there since the beginning of time. Okay. And many, many, many civilizations fall on our ancient fathers mm. for spiritual and knowledge foundation. Okay. So I can tell you for a fact that uh, when you come into a fan cosmology, mm -hmm. you realize that the entire universe as it is now is a fan. And that alone should give the African child a courage, hope okay. that we do have our knowledge foundation. The reason I'm saying this is that, mm -hmm. you see, when you come into a farm mm. system, mm. the first step that was taken before this creation came into existence mm. is there. Okay. Even your own existence, what and what came together for your making. Okay. If you come into a farm, you see it clearly. Okay. Science and technology today, looking at computer language, mm -hmm the binary system, yeah. you realize that they are using a fan markings mm -hmm. as the binary for computer scientification. Mm -hmm. So coming to Africa, it is not like we don't have a knowledge foundation. Okay. It is the mindset of the children of Africa that now believes that our understanding, our, 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 our knowledge intellectuals is that of an apes, you know, like a Makase, like... Okay, okay, fine. Togbi, if that's the case, uh, somebody will say, ah, all oh, this thing Togbi has saying or Toto has saying is it, it, very powerful that, yes, Africa will have the knowledge in terms of those books, in terms of computer binary. Then why did we conquer by the other people? today doing those things for us and we are struggling to do some very good question let me tell you one thing mm -hmm. you see the people that you are referring to having science and technology uh -huh. hmm? yes tell me apart from the science and technology what else do they have that's what we know yes so aside the science and technology mm -hmm. there is nothing else you understand? Okay. Aside the technology, the electronics that they are manufacturing, that is all. And what, then, what do we have more, more than what they have? Very in, well. I will come yeah. back to that question. Okay. The first question that you ask mm -hmm. before this one is that uh, if, you if, have all this if, if we have this knowledge, as I'm saying, mm -hmm. why did our ancient fathers were colonized? Yes. You see? It took our ancient fathers to migrate from their you know, initial environment to this present 
locations that we find ourselves. Okay. So what it means is that, in fact, it took our ancient fathers over 700 years to come and settle here. That alone should tell you that people who were constantly migrating from one location to the other, mm -hmm. from the other point to the other point, you should be able to ask yourself, if they have knowledge people within the group traveling, mm -hmm. because they were not able to settle at a one location for long, mm -hmm. the civilization, establishing the civilization will be a thing of a problem. Mm -hmm. Now, they, it took them about 700 years to get to where we are today. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. Now, when our ancient fathers initially established themselves here, mm -hmm. they were about introducing the knowledge foundation to the youth. Okay. And it was at that same period that the slave trade also took place. Mm -hmm. And the able women and men that our ancient fathers should transmit the knowledge to were carried away. Mm. So what do you expect the elderly to be done, to do? Mm -hmm. What do you expect them to do? Eventually, most die with the knowledge system okay. because there is no much of conscious children to carry the knowledge into the future. Mm -hmm. But as I said, the knowledge, in fact, in our ancient fathers, even though they died, but they tried their very best to leave the knowledge in our cultural system. Okay. And I can tell you for a fact that the entire knowledge system of our ancient fathers is right there intact. Nothing is taken out of it. So, so, so right now, if I am a Christian, Muslim, Buddhist, Buddhist, and I wanted to find the original ancient knowledge, the only way is to, to go to the traditional system. Is that what you are trying to tell? But then who is a Christian and who is a Muslim or who is what? That's what they are telling us today, that people who are If you to are an ever, you are an ever. Mm -hmm. If you are an Ashanti or Fanti or an Akan, mm -hmm. you are an Akan. Okay. So as, a, as, as for religion, mm -hmm. uh, it is something that is passing and it will one day, you know, be a thing of the past. Ooh, so okay. because of that, you see, today we are kind of forgetting our own identity. Mm. For you to talk about I am a Christian, that alone you have thrown away your identity. Mm. Nobody was born a Christian. Mm -hmm. Nobody was born a Christian. Even if your mother and your father are Christian and they give birth to you, you, you are not born as a Christian. Mm. You are born as an Akan child. Okay. As an every child, as a, a, a dangbe child, okay. you understand? Okay. So these things, we need to understand the definition of what we, you know, we say or do around ourselves. But then before you come in, mm -hmm. as you rightly said earlier, you know, the concept of our youth today, mm -hmm. even not just the youth, the elderly, okay. thinking that the knowledge left behind by our ancient fathers, they consider it as evil mm -hmm. because somebody from a foreign land came to tell us that uh, what our ancient fathers have is evil, so we should throw it away. If we want to go to heaven, mm -hmm. do you know somebody who came to brainwash you, somebody who came to, you know, took all your minerals away, mm -hmm. who came to enslave you, colonize you, killed you, can these same people show you the way to God? They cannot show you the way to God. If really there is a way that individuals can pass straight forward and go to God, they will not show you. They will want to be the first person to go there. Mm. So let us come back to ourselves, our sciences, mm -hmm. our subconscious mind, mm -hmm. so that we go back to the traditional homes because that is where the knowledge is. The reason is that mm -hmm. Going to our curriculum, our educational system we have in Africa today, okay. our esoteric knowledge system is not added to our curriculum. Why? Why are we learning foreign things instead of us to know the circumstances of our birth? Okay. 
it's more privileged, it's more important than, you know, learning something that is not or cannot be found here in Africa. Okay. Thank you, Toby. Uh, but on top of that, le let me ask this question. You have all this knowledge, and today we are struggling to get the knowledge back. So a lot of people are saying, it's our ancestors who give out their knowledge. How come these people came and they be able to took everything, like you said earlier, they took everything away for us. How can, if we have downloaded, how can they give out everything to them? My brother, in fact, you really have to praise our ancient fathers for us living, having life today. Mm. Yes. A group of like people this. who were, who sojourned from a, a certain location to this place, mm -hmm. who migrated here to this place, mm -hmm. And uh, we're about settling down. Mm -hmm. When guns and weapons of mass destruction arrive mm -hmm. with people coming to disrupt, coming to interfere, coming to, you know, destroy them. At the very time our ancient fathers were settling down, mm -hmm. tell me, the Knowledge Foundation was not established yet. Not alone talking about going into science and technology. So when these people, those people came with weapons, what do you expect? They are killing people with their guns. What can you do? Than to surrender. But you see, our ancient fathers did fight them. They fought them to their last blood. Okay. Yes, they fought them. But they didn't just give up. They didn't just, you know, our Asian fathers fought. And, you know, you having your bare hands and people coming with guns and matches and all of that, what can you then do? Then that's the reason why people are saying today all the, the powers we are saying we have, we don't have. Because if you have, like what you are saying right now, it will happen that time that they will use gun and weapons. My brother, I just say that uh, we should praise our ancient fathers for us having life today mm. if not because of their energies because of the powers that they possessed at the time mm. they would have wiped up all of them okay. they would have you know wiped them out mm. wouldn't have been here today having life they would have destroyed and killed them oh but you understand mm -hmm. but they resisted the few that they were able to carry them away they carried them away okay but they, they resisted. They fought for their freedom. They, they, so you should be able to praise our Asian fathers, my brother. What happened at the time of our Asian fathers? The, the exact thing that happened at the time of our Asian, if it should happen today, mm -hmm. my brother, we, they will not even, uh, even look at the new colonialism, mm -hmm. what is happening. They are traveling. They are not the using country. weapons and mass destructions anymore. They traveling there night But you see, country. An African child now wants to be born in America instead of Africa. Mm. This mindset alone is 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 is, is down. Uh, is to it end. not good for somebody to say I'm going to born in the, the a good system? What is a good system? Why can't we make ours better? Everywhere, glass and ground. Let me tell you. Let me tell you this. Mm -hmm. The science and technology can also be achieved here. We can achieve it here. Okay, so who, who should we blame in terms of not having that science and technology here? We should blame our successive leaders. Mm. Yes. Our successive leaders should be blamed for the failure of Africa. The reason is that I don't know what they are waiting for, the organizational structure of Africa, for even food trade among African states is a problematic, it's a problem. Mm -hmm. You understand? We, Africa, we don't even trust one another. Reasons why Africa is suffering, reason why we are at the point of stagnation. Listen, our leaders are to be blamed for the woes of Africa. The reason, mm -hmm. again and again, is that today, we are here as a Ghanaian. Okay. What do you know about Ghana? 
No. We don't know anything. Even our own individual homes. We don't know stories about our parents. No. We don't know anything about our grandparents. No. We don't know anything about our community. Not at all. Then we want to be the first person to hear CNN news and BBC news, Al Jazeera news, and so and so forth. Mm. These things are destroying Africa. Okay. As earlier I said, our educational curriculum. Mm -hmm. Look at it. There's nothing like African cultural studies. And if I say African cultural studies, I mean the esoteric knowledge system. Why is it that? Okay. At the time of Kwame Nkrumah, they were able to establish the African studies for where WA E. Dubois was asked to come down and establish the encyclopedia for okay. African studies. Okay. Since that time, the successive governments. I mean, all over Africa, they have not been able to establish a commission to dive into the past glory of our ancient teachings. There has not been a commission established, urged to look for the knowledge foundation of our, our ancient fathers. This has been a failure of Africa. Okay, if this has been a failure for Africa, now you are saying the original knowledge you can get it at the traditional area. Fine, these, our leaders are coming and things are going to the wrong direction. What did these traditional people to, uh, do to, to change our leaders' mind that no, we that have the knowledge, but not the one that you are going to, to buy for our child? What, what, what does the traditional well, people to do? The constitutional structure of Africa did not give the traditional authorities any power. Mm. You understand? They diminish them. They, they look them as evil entities. Mm. That is, this is a fact. If we are in Africa today, mm -hmm. all over Africa, we have holidays to celebrate Christmas mm -hmm. and Easter. Mm -hmm. The same applies to our Muslim brothers. Mm -hmm. They also have established holidays all over Africa. But the indigenous traditional knowledge foundation of Africa has been neglected since. They even removed that, it from the national cake. That alone is a big failure to mm. our leaders and they ought to put their head in shame for this act. Then, if, if, if that's the case, somebody will say, okay, if the traditionalists are saying they have power, they should do something, bring their people in so that they can, they are saying something, lobby, so that they can lobby to put something inside for them. Why are they not doing that way? No, the politicians of Africa will not dare do that. Mm. They knew that our system is a system of justice. Mm. So, they wouldn't want to include why are they not trying to unearth the, the knowledge foundation of our Asian fathers? Mm -hmm. Why are they not trying to invest, set up a commission to dig into the glory knowledge of our Asian fathers? Why are they not doing that? Mm -hmm. Because they will not be able to take away with their, you know, one or two things that they do. Well, what's in office? You understand? Okay. It's not that Africa is poor. I can tell you for a fact, Africa is the richest continent in this whole universe. As the Kwame Nkrumah said. We are rich and mm. still rich. Mm. Okay. Togwe, let me ask this question. We are in Ghana. Mm -hmm. Have you seen gold? Real gold? I don't know. Have you seen it before? And I went to that bush. You see? You will not be able to see it. We've been schooled here. We've schooled here. African children. All over Africa where they are mining gold. There's not even single gold to take to the classroom to show children that this is gold. No, but talk with the other day, I was, I was dreaming. They're they selling them always, and, and, and the monies are not coming. They assisted to reveal something. They say our Ghana flag. We say gold, but it's not gold that we put inside the Ghana flag. But render is yellow. Well, so the child of a Ghanaian doesn't recognize the color of the gold. So until maybe you go to those people who are digging the gold, you cannot see anything. So my your brother, eyes. let's come back and leave. Okay, so Toby, a lot of people are saying 
the invasion started from Africa and all that, Bob, this, that, it started from Africa. Then why? Today, none of this generation or a lot of we, the youth, don't know about all these things. Or is that true that the, 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 this invasion started from Africa? Thank you. Mm. Bagbanwe sena me oona gudabla mao videi. Agbanwe sena me oona e gudabla mao videi. Gudabla mao videi. Gudabla mao videi. Agbanwe sena me oona gudabla mao videi. He said, everybody's destiny. We all brought, came with our individual destinies. Okay. And we must establish upon our individual destinies and construct construct it and make it established okay but you see the subconscious mind of the african children now there is no focal point there is no concentration there is no point of thought mm. the reason is that before you start talking you've been introduced You've been aware that things about your own father, about your own mother, about your community it's not good. is not good. It's evil. Mm. But things outside your jurisdiction is good. Mm. So every child is now focusing their mind elsewhere. Okay. Instead of us to concentrate, let me tell you. Mm -hmm. Tell me. When you come to a farm, mm -hmm. we did say that. Every, there is no one in this universe without knowledge, knowledge so to say, without knowledge. Okay. That everybody came with knowledge. Okay. Everybody came with knowledge. Mm -hmm. So for that matter, the individual destiny lies in the hands of the individuals. Okay. So... I've been always saying that when you come into a farm, mm -hmm. and that is where the knowledge of our ancient fathers are kept. Mm -hmm. Yes. They, all the esoteric teachings, mm -hmm. when you come to all the various voodoos, the energies, all of them, they are all states lies within a farm. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. That is why you hear the word voodoo. Okay. You understand? Mm -hmm. The word a fan do is voodoo. So every voodoo is a fan. Okay. Every energy, every energy established mm -hmm. is established on a fan body or a fan state. You oh, understand? Yeah. So everything in this whole universe mm -hmm. is the fan. Okay. So you, the individual children, once you came with your destiny, mm -hmm. you have to know what lies in your destiny and what you have to do. Reason why you have to concentrate on your inner consciousness, mm -hmm. develop your inner world, rather than copying somebody. But to mm -hmm. you don't copy what others are doing. Okay. Once you are doing what others are doing, you will not make it. Concentrate within. Mm -hmm. Today, China is a superpower. Mm -hmm. Not because they have copied from the Americans. Mm. Not because they have copied from the West. No. Mm. But because when they started the Chinese Cultural Revolution, mm -hmm. they go within the Chinese cultural states. Mm -hmm. That is what they did. They didn't go and copy anybody's spiritual system or knowledge system. So every continent, every country, every state, every community was born on a knowledge foundation. Okay. So the reason for Africa is to go back to our roots, so we can be able to tap on the knowledge foundation individually and make it happen. The science and technology you are talking about is one of branch of a farm. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. So it's not like the children are not coming with the brain. Okay. We are giving birth to conscious children all the time. Okay. As I said, before these children could start talking, we destroy them. Mm. So, so can we blame somebody that they did? They, they plan it to, to, to do it that way so that our African youth will not get the knowledge that our ancestors left for us. I'm saying that for Africa alone, 
for Africa to ignore, mm -hmm. for, for not being able to set up a committee to look into the knowledge system of our Asian fathers, is a failure. Mm. Africa failed. So in this case, you can't be talking about technology. You can't be talking about knowledge foundation. Whilst we don't even believe that there is a knowledge foundation of our Asian fathers. Once they believe that there is, mm -hmm. they would have set a commission to look into that and trace it. Okay. But there is nothing like that. Togwi, let me ask this question. Today, a lot of people are trying to come back to get the knowledge. Where exactly those people should go? Because these our people, traditionalists that you are saying, they are the people who have the knowledge. Some of them, in quotes. When you go there, instead of giving you the thing that will help you, they are rather give you something that will destroy. So where should these people should go? Because everything you say is fire fire. Where should these people should go to find out the real knowledge? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, it is true that things are there are genuine people who the ancient who are keeping the ancient knowledge system okay they are genuine i repeat mm -hmm. they are genuine people that are keeping the knowledge foundation mm -hmm. it doesn't mean that if you go to one or two places and you've been disappointed mm -hmm. you shouldn't continue your search you have to continue your search mm -hmm. africa now we are in a dire consequences. We are in a situation where the, the, everybody is thinking about survival. Oh, yeah. You understand? Yeah. So this survival issue has also brought kind of catastrophe mm -hmm. to our system. Mm. You understand? Yeah. So there are a lot of people holding the knowledge foundation mm -hmm. that you can come and they will give it to you. As I am here. Okay. Yes. Also an epitome of this knowledge system. Okay. Very well. I can equally give you what you want. Thank you, Togbe. Yes. But on top of that, still, I wanted to get understanding for this issue. The knowledge is in the traditionalists. Let's say today our leaders are not traditionalists because they believe in the other people's own. That's the reason why they are making our system difficult for us what are the traditionalists are doing for them to get their people in the position where they can decide good system for our generation you you you, you have just you know come back to back to uh, uh, something that i said earlier uh, until we set up a committee you understand? Mm -hmm. To look into this knowledge system. The, not individuals are having the knowledge mm -hmm. in their own understanding, mm -hmm. in their own point of views. So we need a collective understanding of this knowledge system. So that is why a committee must you know, be established for these individuals, traditional leaders to be invited. Mm -hmm. Then we start tapping what is the knowledge system what do you have you understand mm -hmm. we know what we have mm -hmm. that's the reason why i'm asking this question again is the people who are the leaders today maybe belongs to a different group who are not part of the traditionalists so they are not doing any of this thing they are not set up any committee for the traditionalists what is the plan for we, the traditionalists, oh, maybe let's help this group of people from the traditionalists to become MP, to become minister, to become this, so that they can bring all those things that we have on board for our generation to have a good... My brother, it's not like... Uh, it's not everybody who is in parliament that are Christians or Muslims. Mm. Sometimes individuals do bring up this topics that why don't we look into the past knowledge of Africa and see mm. but they always throw them away or ignore them mm. because they are less 
representing the people, you understand? Mm -hmm. Now, the question is, among the traditional order, mm -hmm. what can we do within our own inner state mm -hmm. to come together, kind of collecting the knowledge system? Mm -hmm. It is very easy to say. Mm -hmm. Yes, easy to say. Mm -hmm. But applying it, it is not easy. Okay. The reason is that today's Africa, mm -hmm. everything you do, you need the capital yeah. to get it done. Mm -hmm. Very serious. To invite all of these people to come to a center point for discussion, there must be somebody to sponsor this thing to be done. Okay. That is what I am calling for. Mm -hmm. If the state, the government failed several years to do this, the individual entrepreneurs, the individuals who have the capital, mm -hmm. who have the world with that, let them come out to approach and help. You understand? Mm -hmm. Today, my own efforts, we are kind of trying very best to establish school yeah. with a group of team that around me we are establishing a school you understand mm -hmm. we are establishing a school that we can we can teach the individual children okay you understand mm -hmm. so as you're here you have you, you've seen the project there mm -hmm. but because of capital it is delaying you, you understand mm -hmm. so once there is a focal focal point or center where people can go and, and have a comfort seat and for them to be introduced to the knowledge teaching. This is what we want. Mm. Yes. So it wouldn't be long. Our own effort, we've been trying our very best to, you know, re-establish the knowledge foundation. All right. Thank you. That's what I want to hear from you. And before that, let me ask this question. Once hearing you right now that Africa we still have the knowledge system right here we do. in our center. And that person is trying to come in to get that knowledge. How many days? How many years? How many months? How many weeks did that person use or take to learn that knowledge or to get that knowledge that we are talking about right now? Well, uh, the question, there's a question mark on the question. Mm. The reason is that, uh, you see, Ask yourself, mm. when you were born from a kid, mm. from crutch up to the university, mm. you become a professor. Mm -hmm. Como toothpick, we are still importing them. Mm. You understand? Yeah. So we shouldn't question the traditional authorities that when you are established, mm -hmm. how long will you be able to produce scientists? Mm -hmm. How long? Will, because the scientists have been already produced, but nothing is happening. Mm. So, our cultural system, mm -hmm. the first thing we should ask is the understanding of individual self. Okay. That must be the first door to be open mm -hmm. for any African child. Mm. You must understand your own existence. You must understand your own body universe within your human state. You have to understand yourself. Mm -hmm. If you do that finish, then you start, I mean, when you say you should uh, uh, know about your human self, mm -hmm. your existence, mm -hmm. I'm talking, it's, it's a lot. Okay. Knowing about your body state and individual organs and everything within you. Mm -hmm. You know, a fun name, all of these things. Okay. So, after that, you come around learning things around you. Mm -hmm. Everything wearing woolly, wearing body in your community. Mm -hmm. You ought to know them. Okay. So these are knowledge systems. So once we take these children through that and we open their subconscious mind, okay. then the, their individual destinies will just open up for them to establish science and technology, so, so, so establish right now, what, medicines and all of that. What you want us to know is learning of the system is not one day, one two, but it's lifetime journey. Let me make this clear. Mm -hmm. You see, education in our African perspective, mm -hmm. is different from the, the West. Okay. I mean, the, 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 the car school curriculum that we have today okay. is different from that one. Mm -hmm. Our ancient teachings is 
for you not to throw things into the mind mm. the mind is like a lake okay. that once you are throwing things inside it will become very wavery and mm. once it becomes wavery it cannot capture things or memorize things okay. so instead of you learning agric science social studies whatever whatever you are polluting your mind okay you have to go through a system where you know what you brought into this universe okay. and you follow only that oh okay then you expand it and establish it so if you are science you you follow all this well, if you born with your mechanic you follow that, that is mechanic. what you, you do mm. that is what you do you don't see what somebody else is doing L look at it Coming to our school system that we have today, the Western school. Mm -hmm. You see, everybody is in one class, learning the same thing. Yeah. But we all brought, came with our individual destinies. Mm -hmm. But because of the Western school doesn't have what it takes to understand cosmic knowledge, they, they poor all the children, they just gather all the, all the children in one class. So, so can we say the people brought that particular area to, to distort our mind? Exactly. It is even if you go to their own country, it is so. But you know, the only thing that they do is mm -hmm. if they identify a children that are coming with certain awareness, they keep them out of the general children. Mm -hmm. Yes. So the people who are responsible for science and technology, they are not the same people who go through their it's normal school process. to their universities, no. They become if, the maintenance saw, engineers and all of like that. They will send you straight to that area yes. for you to maintain. You go to the esoteric school. Mm. Yes, you go to the esoteric school. So, reason why you see most of the scientists from the ancient time, I mean, I'm talking about the West. Yeah. Albert Einstein, Turner, what is the name? All of those great scientists, mm -hmm. they didn't go to school. Mm. They didn't go to school. So it's not about going to school to read. It's not about going to school. Books. It's about you identifying who what you, you are. brought here, your destiny, mm. because it will take you through its path. You follow it. You pursue your own self. You don't chase other things. Mm. This is the problem of Africa, and our government, our leadership, Afri the leadership of Africa, should, with immediate effect, mm. call a committee. Establish a committee to dig into the lost knowledge of Africa. Mm. So we reintroduce it into the curriculum. Thank you, Togbi Tutusao. Here is JMTVGH, and I'm here discussing with Togbi Tutusao. That's our ancestor have knowledge foundation. That's what we are asking today. And he has said a lot of things, but the main point is you have to know yourself. The reason why you are here and the main talent you brought here. So reading so many things can distort the mind that you may not know what you are even here to do. So try your best to get the knowledge. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel, like, comment and share the video for me. Let this video go viral because the only way we can get the right thing is to knowing ourselves and learning the right knowledge. So let me go to Tobi Tutosau for him to tell us his final words so that we will end up to this topic. Anytime you get something difficult, you are not understand something, when you call Tobi Tutosau, uh, he will explain everything to you. You know, sometimes uh, I'm saying this, not everything that you say in public because uh, it makes things difficult for them. So some of the knowledge, sometimes some of you will call me, why can't you discuss this? When you call Tobi Totosau, you explain that thing you want him to discuss. He will explain to you so that you know yourself. And he's ready to give the knowledge out. So if you are ready, he will give it to you. But if you are not ready, please don't come and worry him with any uh, this thing. So Tobi, <clears throat> you have tell us so many things. So today somebody will ask what the... What is the way forward? Well, the way forward for Africa is for our leaders to wake up from mm. their sleep. And then to their not to. They have to wake up from their sleep and look into Africa and mm. stop looking elsewhere. Mm. They should look deep into Africa 
start with immediate effect, organize collective effort, committees to dig and find the knowledge of Africa and give it to the children for the benefit of Africa. Mm. Because without that, Africa can never stand on her own feet. Okay, the other day, one of uh, radio presenter called Kwame Frifa was saying the only way is the traditionalists who collect their country from the leaders that we are having today. Would you agree with? You? Well, yeah. it's not collecting the country per se. You understand? Mm -hmm. If we collect the country, I mean, I understand him in a way uh, to the sense that. Uh, he is think, trying to say once the country is taken from the politicians, mm. probably the traditional authorities can now rule their communities mm. and reintroduce the rules and regulations of the ancient teachings. Yes. I'm sure that is what he wants to say. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. But you see, uh, every week, the current dispensation, with what we are having now, mm. we can still work it out. Oh, okay. You understand? Mm -hmm. We can still work it out. The, the issue is our leaders. I don't know, I just do not know mm. if there are external forces somewhere preventing them mm. not to dig into their own knowledge system. I just don't know. I'm sure. If it is so, mm. they should come out and tell us. Okay. Because they are our leaders. Mm. We gave them the power to be at the forefront. Mm -hmm. If you go there and there is something bothering you, tell us and resign. Mm. Yes, because maybe, I don't know, that is the reason why I said that there might be, if not, then they are wasting the time for the youth of Africa. Mm. So, we need to establish our own schools. Mm. Yes, so that we start teaching. Let me tell you one thing. Mm -hmm. The language, the individual languages of Africa okay. lies the knowledge foundation. Okay. The individual languages we have here in Africa mm -hmm. lies the knowledge foundation. Okay. So if anything, the English language is a borrowed language that we cannot think through. We can't think through English. Mm -hmm. We cannot establish science and technology using English language. No. Because mm -hmm. you cannot think with English. Mm -hmm. You cannot dream in English language. Mm -hmm. you are, your genetic order is your local language. Mm -hmm. You cannot change it. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, Togby, my last question, and I wanted to find out this. Like you said earlier, you shouldn't read so many things or pulling so many things to the mind. Today, when you go to so many platforms, through social media, through WhatsApp, through Telegram, all that, many people are coming out with different books. I find this book from ancient Egypt. I find this book from this anger, teaching the youth. Should we follow that? Or we should follow what you said? You have to know yourself first. Well, um, there are books, there are books, and there are books. Mm. I cannot just say nobody should read. Mm. Let us read. Mm. One day, we might find something hidden somewhere. Okay. But if we are looking for the knowledge of Africa, mm. it is within us already. So if it is here, we should take it serious. Yes. But from somewhere, we should the be The knowledge of Africa is in the individual souls. Okay. Our problem is that we don't know ourselves. Mm. Our souls are yearning to expand with the knowledge. Okay. But we are because we are lost, there, there is no identification of ourselves. Mm. So the soul is, is slowly, you know, the, the soul of every human being is like fire. Okay. So before your soul can expand with subconscious mind, mm -hmm. unless the flame is going mm -hmm. higher and higher. Okay. You understand? Mm -hmm. And once the, the fire as the soul is diminishing, it means that... So right now, the, the, there is no flame, higher flame of That's Africa. There is nothing like that. Every, okay. Everybody here, our, 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 our low soul, or our fire, our soul is sleeping. Then we have to wake it up. Give me this explanation before we go. If somebody is watching us right now, 
or somebody is having a, a, a child growing up right now, what is the way that person can go through so that he can get or she can get the right thing for that child? Not falling to where we are today, but getting to the right. Well, what the person needs to do is to see us and go through the first ceremony. Okay. Once you go through the first initiation, mm -hmm. you are going to know about yourself. Mm -hmm. You are going to know about your spiritual existence, mm -hmm. your, your body existence, mm -hmm. your destiny wise. Mm -hmm. All of these things are going to be known. Mm -hmm. Then you know why you are in this universe. Okay. Were you having been into this life before? Okay. Yes or no? You will know all of these things. Okay. Then you know that your direction, what you need to do for you to make it in life. Okay. You know, once these keys are taken through this process as early as they are, mm. before they start, before they are subtle, they are creative, they are, they are, they are subconscious minds start gathering information, mm -hmm. they are already on the verge of making one with the mother Thank you. mind. Thank you, Dr. Tito. Give us your final words. Well, uh, what I can say now is that uh, each and every child of Africa mm -hmm. should come back home. It has been a while that we've been deceived, mm -hmm. we've been brainwashed, mm -hmm. overlooked, dashed somewhere. It is time we took our things very serious. Mm -hmm. So let us all come together as an African mind mm -hmm. with one energy okay. so that we can re-establish first looking into the, uh, the esoteric teachings of our ancient fathers, okay. establishing it and giving it out to the children mm -hmm. so they can carry it into the next generation. We are doing it in our own way, building up a school so we can teach the esoteric knowledge. Mm -hmm. So any one of you who is much interested, you can give us a call. Okay. We will give you and advise you exactly and what to number. do. Uh, my number is uh, 0244 uh, 91 mm -hmm. 2383 is the number. The number Probably, if you are outside, then you use the Ghana code plus 233. Mm -hmm. Then 2244 plus 233 244 91 2383 as the number. Yes. All right, thank you. Talk with Tutu Sao. That's Talk with Tutu Sao. And uh, I hope you have got something small from it, right? Not the bigger one that you get. Uh, have said that you get the knowledge but this little one can give you something that you want in this life so that talk with Toto South number if you want to sponsor uh, the school if anything at all that you want to use to sponsor the the, the, the knowledge system uh, he's ready all the time when you call him or whatsapp him he will get to you, in touch with you then you can come back they are doing it you can do it better I said we can do it better, but unless we are ready for it. So if you want to sponsor JMTVGH with anything at all, like I always say, camera, anything, phone, light, at all, you can call us on plus two, three, three, two, four, two, seven, four, nine, one, nine, two, plus two, three, three, two, four, two, seven, four, nine, one, nine, two. If you call us or WhatsApp us. Anytime, any day, we are there for you. My DOP is my author, and um, my bro, uh, Wisdom, is there uh, watching me. Cool, um, all my sponsors, thank you very much for sponsoring me all the time. See you in another time. Bye bye. It's finally here. It's finally here. It is finally here. Listen, Crowder. 2022 this place is going to be late i'm talking about priests all the way from benin down to togo town to the water all the way down to azim they're all coming around why because of you this year is going to be something else i don't care what you're dealing with i don't care what you're going through come to this crowd from the 25th of september to the first of october miracles all over the place testimonies all over the place just a hundred slot though just a hundred slot for a hundred people to testify the best festival there is you would literally 
get yourself revived. I'm talking about powerful, powerful bokos, talk about cause divineness. I'm talking about healing. I'm talking about cleansing. I'm talking about feeding your craft, feeding your true self. Where else would you want to be but Oyamikesi Crook? This is the place to be. Accommodations, everything sorted. Karada is here to stay. We're blowing things. We're changing things. We're changing your life. Your life can never be the same.